Hello, good morning. Today I want to introduce to you a beautiful topic in calculus, which is differential equations. To make the lesson more simple and brief, I have summarized most of the things that you need to know before solving any differential equations. So if you are new here, consider subscribing, press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new content. And don't forget to share and hit the like button. Just like normal algebraic equation, a differential equation is also an equation that relates one or more functions and their derivatives. Remember, in algebraic equation, we may have an equation like 2y minus 3 equals 5. This is an algebraic equation. The only thing that differentiates an algebraic equation and that of differential equation is the derivative. Uh, just like if we have 2 multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x minus 3 equals to 5. This is a differential equation. A differential equation may appear to be an ordinary differential equation or a partial differential equation. What differentiates the two is an ordinary differential equation. It does not contain partial derivatives. And partial derivatives are denoted by delta notation, maybe delta y over delta x or it can also be written in subscript form which is y subscript subscript x uh, for first derivative while ordinary differential equation is written like dy over dx or y prime this donate partial derivative while this donate ordinary derivatives having known this let us move on to order Here are some examples of differential equations. To find out the order of this differential equation, first of all, you have to consider the highest degree of our derivative in that equation. If you can see in this equation, the highest degree, we have a first derivative. Therefore, we say this is a differential equation of the first order. This is another differential equation, y prime prime plus y prime minus 5y equals to 0 but the highest degree of our derivative there is 2. This is second derivative, so we say this is second order differential equation. And lastly, we have y prime 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 plus 4x minus 2xy equals to exponential x. So we say this is third order differential equation in that order. So the highest degree of our derivative in differential equation determines the order of that differential equation. We are done with this. And differential equation can also appear to be linear or nonlinear. I think to have a clear understanding of their differences, let me highlight the characteristics of this nonlinear differential equation. All other characteristics will fall under linear differential equation. Okay, non linear differential equation. In non-linear differential equation, you may have a term in the form of y, y prime. Whenever the coefficient of our derivative is y, so that differential equation is non-linear. And uh, secondly, y prime o y to some powers. To some powers. Whenever you see our derivative like y prime to maybe second power or y to the second power, that is non-linear differential equation. Otherwise, we are going to categorize it under linear differential equation. Y as power of e. A linear differential equation, e cannot take power of y. So therefore, in nonlinear, you can see exponential y, exponential xy, and so on and so forth. But in nonlinear, it can only take power of x. Another characteristic on the nonlinear differential equation is that y can appear to be the argument for our trig function, like 
maybe um, sine y, cos y, o tan y, and so on and so forth. In nonlinear differential equation, we may have this function. But in linear differential equation, you will never see sine y, cos y, tan y, and other trig functions. So these are the characteristics of nonlinear differential equation. All other characteristics will fall under linear differential equation. So the last one I want to discuss here is homogeneous or non-homogeneous differential equation. And there are certain ways in which you can determine whether a differential equation is homogeneous or non-homogeneous. In homogeneous differential equation, all terms have the same degree. Example, if we have dy over dx to be equal to x squared plus y squared over x y. If you can see, all, all the terms in this differential equation are of the degree 2, because this x is the second power, y is the second power, and here we have 1 for x and 1 for y. If you combine them together, we have 2. So all the terms in, different, all the terms in that differential equation have the same degree. Another way you can identify a homogeneous differential equation is that when you have a function, say f of x, if you replace that x with some constant times x, f of maybe lambda x, and you simplify that expression and factor out that lambda, you are going to obtain lambda to some power times the initial function, which is this. If it can be transformed in this form, we see it is homogeneous differential equation, where n will determine the order of that differential equation. And for multivariable equations, which is uh, maybe x and y, and you replace x with lambda x and y with lambda y, you are still going to obtain lambda to some power of the initial function, where n, again, is the order of that differential equation. Suppose we have a function x squared plus y squared over uh, xy. We are now going to replace x with lambda x, y with lambda y. So uh, this is a function of x and y. So we are going to replace this with lambda x and uh, lambda y. And this will be equal to, if you replace lambda x with x, you are going to get lambda squared x squared plus lambda squared y squared. And here we have only lambda x times lambda, lambda y. From here, you can factor out lambda so that we have lambda squared outside. And inside, we have only x squared plus y squared. And from the bottom, we have lambda times lambda, which is lambda squared uh, times x, y. You can see we have lambda divided by lambda, which is the same thing as lambda power 0 of the function x squared plus y squared over x, y which is the same thing as the initial function. So we say this is equal to lambda power 0 of the function, initial function. So this is what? Of the degree 0. So we say this is a homogeneous differential equation. Another way you can identify a homogeneous differential equation is if the derivative in that equation can be written as a function of y over x. If you can transform that function with y over x, we see it is homogeneous differential equation. And the essence of transforming our derivative to this form is if that equation is not the separable type, we can replace y over x with v such that y can be equal to vx. Then we differentiate y with respect to x, 
By doing so, we can transform the initial equation into a separable type. Then we solve for y. This is our example. Let's see if we can transform this equation into this form. What we are going to do here, we are going to divide each term by x squared. So we have, so that the first term here we have is x squared over x squared plus y squared over x squared divided by x y over x squared. Now let's simplify. x squared plus x, x squared divided by x squared, this is equal to 1 plus uh, they have common power, so we can write it as y over x to the power of 2 divide by x will, x will cancel one of the x leaving 1x, so we have y over x. So you can see that uh, the equation has now been transformed into terms in this form, which is y over x. And I told you the essence of doing so is if that equation is not the separable type, by substituting uh, y over x as v, making y the subject, y equals to vx. Now we differentiate both terms using product rule. In this case, we are going to have dy over dx equal to, you keep the first term constant, you differentiate the second one. If you differentiate this, you are going to obtain one, plus you keep the second one constant, then you differentiate the second one, which is dv over dx. So now you, wherever you see dy over dx, you are going to replace it with v plus x dv over dx. And wherever you see y, you replace it with vx. Then you integrate both sides to obtain the original equation that was differentiated to obtain this differential equation. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and do have a nice day.